Yo, New York Exchange yet again. This is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, welcome to Stas. If my mic quality is lower now, it's because I am on the road. As you guys have seen, the Miami Marlins decided to trade for Starlings. There was uh, one big YouTuber out there reporting that the Yankees were shopping Gary. I don't know if it fell through or not. But you would have to think that the Yankees were shopping Gary at some point. Because it makes absolutely no sense. What do the Yankees benefit having Gary Sanchez behind the plate? As you guys know, I think Gary Sanchez is more valuable as a hitter. And, you know, DH has been occupied on the Yankees. It makes absolutely no sense to bring him out there in 2022. You know, people get some things right and they get some things wrong. But I'm not trying to uh, take anything away from iTalk Studios. As he was on a row, he predicted uh, five signings in a row. So who knows what was there. It'll be interesting to see what details come about in the coming days when it comes to that situation. Now, moving along, as you guys know, for a long time, this actually made the news in Panama. I've been pushing for Johan Carmago to become a Yankee for I don't know how long now. He has always dominated in the winter leagues. And he has played a couple of games over there at Yankee Stadium. And anytime he plays at the stadium, he has good games. I don't know if it's because of his um, left-handed swing. He's a switch hitter. But um, he has had some good cuts over there at Yankee Stadium. And I said this a couple of weeks ago. I would like the Yankees to try to trade for him. But now he's a free agent. He's there for the taking. He would be the excellent uh, super utility infielder for the Yankees. As we all know, Wade is not a Yankee anymore, or Door is not a Yankee anymore. You know, you have the perfect uh, play here to try to sign Johan Carmago. You won't be disappointed. The guy is a gamer. He's an excellent player. He could be a starter on any team. Like I keep saying, the Braves underutilized him. And now, again, they non-tendered him, and he's a free agent. So, Yankees, make it happen. Make it happen, please. So... A lot of people, I, I see a lot of Yankees fans losing their minds. Uh, Seager is, got signed by the Rangers. A lot of people liked Corey Seager. But, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was kind of losing my, you know what, on Twitter, as of many Yankees fans were as well. But to be honest with you guys, all the guys that I was pushing for and keep pushing for, they're still available. <laughs> so I'm being kind of a hypocrite uh, bashing the front office. I'll just let the dust settle, see what the Yankees really do. If they show up, whatever, we could all lose our collective, uh, you know, once the dust settles, once we see what the Yankees did or did not. So let's just wait. A lot of good players out there still. Correa is still out there. Freeman, there's talk that the Yankees are interested in him as well. Players to be traded for, Castillo is still, still out there. Um, Olsen is still out there, so we still have a whole bunch of good players available. You know, the Yankees need to show up. We haven't seen this in seasons. Uh, great free agent market, great trade market. The Yankees need to do something, folks. It, it'll just be ridiculous if they don't. If they don't, um, Hal needs to sell the team. Hal needs to come to the conclusion that he feeds the fan base a big contract every four years, and it's just ridiculous at this point. So before I leave, guys, I'll leave you with this. What's the difference between the players the Yankees have DFA'd and having Gary Sanchez go out there and catch in 2022? There's no benefit to it. So it makes absolutely no sense bringing him back as a catcher. I don't know if they're going to somehow clear that DH spot, but it makes absolutely no sense. And surprisingly, I'll say 90% of the Yankees fan base were down to trade Gary Sanchez. You know, heads are going to spin if the Yankees don't trade him, but whatever, it looks like they're bringing him back. So, Yankees fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you out next time.